the arms. Think belly button pulled in, rib cage pulled down. Feel yourself centered between your heels. When you're ready, let's start on the left leg. Left leg forward when the right elbow is high. Good. Once every single repetition, you can get your knee above your hip and that ankle is flexed on every single repetition. Then you can start moving on two. Again, we're still in place here. Some people need to work on their timing here for just one, two, even three weeks. Once you get the timing down here, we can move forward and sideways. The way we move forward is in a march. Guys, go ahead and pause. And let's do this. So once somebody has the level one down where they're driving with their arms, driving with one foot and able to do two feet in place, that whole progression there, then they're ready to start moving. I want to see so, you start in place with just the arms, then one foot, then two feet. Nick, start on your uh, march. Rob, start on your march. You're going to stay in your march, Rob, as long as you can uh, keep your toes up and knees up. Good. And then let's start moving forward, guys. Good. Powering down, powering down. Shorten your stride up, Rob. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Then the legs. And whenever you're, you can stay in rhythm and you feel comfortable, start moving forward. Hip width on each step. Knees up, toes up. I make them go arms, legs. Start with one. Once you get it down, go right into two. Good. Start with the march. You're going to stay in the march, Rob, and then Nick, you're going to go to your skip. Good. Nick's up. Powering, powering, powering. Good, guys. Good. Good. Yep. Arms. Picking the feet up, moving the hips with distance each, each time. Good, then bring it back, keep the arms going. Good. Start with the other leg in place, good. Knee tracks out towards the same shoulder. Heel stays under your hip. 